Well, outside, of course, it's Edinburgh, it's raining, it's cold. Inside, we're having fun. We're having yeah. fun. Yes. So it's you, warm. you yeah. were just saying, uh, you just arrived yesterday. Yes. Uh, what do you think of Edinburgh so far? Um, I love it because it's got this village vibe that I grew up with. Uh, you don't mind the weather? I mean, you live in Australia now. Yeah, I left winter. I left oh, winter. But what's Australian like, winter? It's cold. It's not Edinburgh cold, but it's cold. Uh, and it was raining when I left and I was like, good, I'm coming to Europe, it's going to be summer. I got here and I was like, I'm still in Melbourne, so... Okay. <laughs> and Thandwe, is this your, old, uh, this is your first Edinburgh? Is yes. this your first Edinburgh? It's the first time I'm bringing my own show, but I have come out just to see what to it's about. To scope it out. Yes. Smart nice. woman. I wish Smart I'd done that. Woman. Yeah. yeah, you probably bought a raincoat. Yes, I have to go look for one today. Yeah. Yeah, I have to go look so, for one. So, um, I'm extremely excited because you're Kenyan. Yes. You know, it's, it's weird with the whole African continent and with the people who come to Kenya to do comedy. Mm. Um, a lot of South Africans, you know, Trevor Noah started a tsunami that has... <laughs> yes. But a lot of different countries. Kenya doesn't seem to, I mean, in terms of performers and whatnot, Kenya doesn't seem to export as many. No, we don't. I think... Uh, Are you just not funny? Oh, we're funny. <laughs> we're, 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 we're hilariously funny. Uh, we laugh at our pain a lot. Yeah, but, uh, yes, there's a lot to laugh at. There is a lot to laugh at. I've been to Kenya, yeah. and I think the, the problem with... Uh, Comedy in Kenya is still very uh, young, so it's very slapstick. It's very uh, yeah, you know, there's tribal. Yeah, there's in Churchill. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's very tribal. So you know, um, if I'm going to talk about kikuyus and lures and kisses, that really doesn't translate no. to an international no. uh, market. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a pioneer of that. Yeah, uh, so is that what you talk about in your show? Uh, I talk about a lot of things. I talk about, uh, you know, being Kenyan, being, uh, I love my corruption. I, I don't, <laughs> uh, it makes me feel at home when I, yeah. when I, when I see corrupt things, you know. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I talk about that. I talk about raising my children who are, are raised half Australian, half Kenyan. Um, there, there's a one, I, when yeah. I went to Kenya uh, uh, oh, many, many years ago, they have, maybe it's just my Kikuyu friends, but they have this wonderful expression, they have 50% children. Yeah. So anyone who's mixed race is a 50% child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, I talk, about, I, I talk about a lot of things, but I do touch uh, a lot on, on, on the Kenyan politics, on the Kenyan uh, way of life that a lot of people don't know it's... and experience, yeah. I mean, I, I, I love Kenya, yeah. but I think I love Kenya because I get, you know, there's a wonderful expression, chini yamaji. Yeah. It kind of means... <laughs> Undercovers. Really. Yeah, like underwater yeah. almost. <laughs> yeah. And so I avoid everything official and just yes. go and do it. Although, you know, being Scottish, I do glow in the dark. Yeah. So it's hard to be inconspicuous, but it's great. You're from uh, Thanjue, is that... The yes, correct pronunciation. Tenue. Yes. Tenue. Uh, South Africa. Yes, South Africa, Devon, Zulu. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And what, what do you talk about in your show? I share my experiences of growing up in apartheid South Africa, Whoa. growing up poor but not knowing that I was poor until I went to other places <laughs> and saw how the other half lives. <laughs> yeah. I talk about how some forms of extreme poverty I only saw when I went to first world countries. Mm. Where I come from, exactly. we don't have any homeless people. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I share, I share my experiences and I also talk about raising a child as an African mother in a first world country, mm. the challenges yeah. and how I navigate them and deal with them. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's my life, it's sharing my life. Mm. The show is called The Mandela Effect. Mm. Uh, so the Mandela Effect is a phenomenon of where a group of people forget a large part of history. Yeah. Oh, yes, effect. yes. So I remind people of the African history that they have forgotten. I yeah. remind people of the African uh, life and history that is not seen on 
television. Mm. So, yeah. oh no, it, it's uh, there is a, a world of difference between. Uh, I mean, I found between what everybody thinks and you know when when what you've just said when I say yeah um, where I live it's this and this and this and the 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 women I work with are this and they're like oh mm. yeah. and you well probably in the way you feel you're poorer than they are and also there are so yeah. many differences yet so many similarities as mm. well mm. you just said uh, a, 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 a phrase in Swahili, but I, I understood what you were uh -huh. talking about yeah. because we call Amanzi water as well. Yeah. So ah. even though we we can be different, but there's so many similarities. Yeah. And I would like people to to understand that as well. And I talk about also how why we behave a certain way when it comes to certain things. Yeah. For example, when it comes to names. Uh -huh. yeah. Why our names are important to us? Why we get given certain names? And why in our history has made our names one of the things that are really uh, the, the only thing we have left from or... our ancestors. Because yeah. yeah. all our other inheritance is at the British Museum. Exactly. So, so yeah. Zulu is Bantu, right? It's Bantu, yes. So we're, we're Bantu as well. Yeah. Yes. So, and your naming process And we are is... Guni as well, yeah. Bantu Guni. So, so you, do you name your kids? especially like for males who get married, mm. they name the kids after your fathers? No, we name our children based on circumstances that take yeah. place around mm. the time okay. of their birth. Yeah. For example, um, my father was in prison yeah. for eight years when I was growing up. Yeah. And when he came out of prison, my mother was seven months pregnant with twins. So she named them Forgive and Forget. Hey, so, <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful. And he did forgive her. Not sure if you forgot, but that is yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. I yeah. I remember when I went to Kenya first, and all the women are like uh, Mama Vincent, Mama. The, and I'm like, what's your name? Yeah, and it's no, it's a, 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 when a woman has her first child, she's Mama. Yeah, for, for life. Yeah, and uh, that I just so it's so much. I prefer living. Mm. In, in Kenya, although I know, you know, because there's still proper values, don't agree with some of them, but then mm. that's the fault of white missionaries. Yeah. Pretty much everything yeah. that's wrong with Africa is either because of Christianity being forced on it, or that wonderful day post-war when the Allies sat down with rulers and went, yeah, and right, now trouble, you're there, yeah. you're there, yeah. you're there. Because a lot of people don't even know that we never had surnames. Yeah. Surnames were introduced us to control yeah. us and to make us pay tax. Or borders, either. No, you know, absolutely. We, we, we have borders, so we were always travelling yeah. everywhere we're free. Um, and what you do say about religion is um, one of those aspects that has really spoiled Africa Everything. for Everything. a lot of things because... And I talk about that in my show where, you know, you grow up going to church and believing in, in God and, and everything. And then you come to the West and you go like, all right, cool, get let's your wife first, let's go to yeah. church. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know, so, yeah. and you never told us when you left. Yeah. You just never told us it was a book. Yeah. You were just yeah. like, hey, keep on praying. Yeah. And I'll also come how uh, the religious names were forced on us. Mm. Yes. For example, in South Africa, you couldn't go to school unless you had... A religious, a religious name, yeah. Yeah. an English name, and even our, the great Nelson Mandela. Nelson is not his name. name. Mm. It was forced on him because yeah. in order to attend school, you had to have a certain name. And sometimes you would have that name, and then when you get your first job, if your madam has the same name, you have to change, change. your name. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And then people laugh when they look at Africans just naming people, naming their children any random English word, because people got tired of every time I get a job and there's a white person with the same name, I have to change my name. So they started just naming their children any word that they knew a white person would never name their yeah. child. Mm. I had the weirdest... We can cut this bit out if, if it's not OK, <laughs> but I had the weirdest experience, not weirdest, but unsettling. Um, I use pikipikis and my tattoos and yeah. whatnot, so... Um, I, I just am with normal people and then there's my friend who, if I'm going very far, he'll drive me. So we were in the car and he got a phone call and I just said, well, eh, yeah, eh, eh, yeah, master, yeah, eh, eh, master. And I'm like, 
no, hearing myself, hearing. And then I was on, uh, I don't know, Matatu, the little minibus thing. And again, these two guy, young guys were talking to one another. I was like, hey, master. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, no, I'm definitely hearing, hearing this. Yeah. So I said to David, um, David is, I said, you know, when we were in the car going, you, did you say master? Yeah, 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 he's my friend, master. Mm -hmm. like, but that's, you know, like... Savitude and... Master, yeah. ma he said, yeah, like, you know, I said, but it's a terrible word. And he said, yes. He said, but then it was their word. Now it's our word. Yeah. And we get to use it how we want. And if, he said, sometimes if, he said, sometimes if your boss, mm -hmm. you, that you're very friendly with, mm -hmm. he'll be like, hey, master. Mm -hmm. If somebody is always top of the class in school. And I said, you know, if you use that word in UK, I thought, it would be terrible. And he said, well, now it's our word. Yeah. And, and that, surely that's a wonderful way to deal with all these kind of taboo words. Which is why it's important to hear our stories, to hear yeah. people from different parts of the world. Because, it's for example, when I first went to America, I thought the N-word was the word to use. Because yeah. they send us music where they call each other that word. Yeah. In their yeah. movies, they call each other that, that word. So we grew up wanting to be the N. Yeah. And yeah. Then you yeah. get there and they get offended when you use it. And so especially if, for Africans too, mm. we, when we use it on them, is they don't like it, they but don't they, like it. Yeah. all the music they send to us, they call each other that. Yeah, that's right. And all and the movies, so it gets confusing. Same thing with you with the word master. Yeah, because yeah. and like in South Africa with the segregation, we had four groups, four main groups of people: whites, uh, colored, Indian, black. And yeah. when you come here, you say colored, people get offended. Yes, because yes. it doesn't mean the same thing. Whereas in South Africa. A colored is an upgrade of a black. Yeah. I think we can. Laugh. Where and when are you on? Uh, I'm on every day from tomorrow at the tomorrow being the third of August. Is it right? I've, I've totally lost the plot already, yeah. and it's. Yeah. Just... I'm, I'm from the third of August to the twenty seventh, two twenty five at nice the, just the tonic, the mesh house, the cask room. And the show is called The Mandela Effect. I'm so excited to share my story. Nice. Oh. <laughs> and. Um, uh, I start tomorrow as well. Um, I've got my show is at the Raging Bull. Where is that? Uh, somewhere else in Edinburgh. <laughs> uh, I have to go look for my oh, venue today. Oh, it's on today. the free fringe, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, I that think is it's, wonderful. Uh, it's on Lothian Road, if I remember correctly. Ah, yes. Yep. Oh, that's a cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's called Kenya Handle It. Um, oh, pun! Yes. yes. And, wow. Um, and then I have another show that I'm producing, which uh, Fengiwe is on as well. Uh, it's called Black Laughs Matter. And it's just for... You're, you're big with the puns, you. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this one's just uh, black comedians, uh, Af Afro-African comedians uh, for that show. So oh, I on, didn't know about that one. When's that one on? On the 16th and 21st. On the 16th, we, it's at the Three Sisters. Mm -hmm. And on the 21st, at the Counting House. Oh, 8.30, 30, 8.30 30 p.m. Am I allowed in? Yes, <laughs> definitely, 100%. So. Oh, fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much.